Hi guys, it's Amy. A lot of the people I teach yoga to ask me specifically for tips on strengthening their abdominal muscles. So today I've put together a really quick, hopefully five minutes if I can not talk too much, uh, just a few ideas, some few things that you can do at home on your own to little by little start to strengthen your core. So lie down, mat or carpet, whatever you got. And we'll start with the knees bent, feet pressed firmly into the ground, head relaxed, shoulders relaxed back into the ground. And I like to bring my hands up to my belly so that I could press in and really feel the abdominals tightening as I do this. So we're gonna breathe in and out, and as we do, make some tiny adjustments to the tummy. So breathe in, a little bit of a pelvic tilt, press your lower back down into the ground and feel the belly tightening. Exhale, release all that back to neutral. Keep that going. Inhale, squeezing the tummy by pressing the lower back down. Exhale, relax. See if you notice anything here. And if you're not sure if you're doing any good, press your fingers deep into your belly and feel the tummy muscles getting hard. I, I talk to a lot of women who have had C-sections or abdominal hysterectomies. Any history of abdominal surgery really does mess with the abdominal muscles. It's hard. We have to teach them how to work right again. It doesn't always come naturally, and it's not you. It's the muscle. So by simply pressing the lower back down, pelvic tilt, and bringing awareness to right here, we start to teach the side walls of the abdominals to start talking to each other again better and working together. Only then can we start to really strengthen them. One more. You can always pause the video and keep going with this as long as you want. Okay. Now, staying just like this, we're gonna bring one leg flat out to the ground nice and relaxed. Same idea with the pelvic tilt and pressing the lower back down. We're going to raise the straight leg up, but only as high as the other thigh. When it gets to here, we're sort of, we're not working the tummy anymore. So to here, and then we'll release it back down. Okay? As you breathe, inhale it up, press the lower back down, exhale, release it. And we release it nice and slow and controlled. Breathe in, lift the leg. Exhale, lower the leg nice and slow. See if you can do it without relaxing the leg fully on the floor, just letting it go. See if you can keep it just hovering above the floor. Don't forget, lower back. Push it into the floor. Get rid of that little arch in the lower back and that really brings all the work around to the front of the belly. One more on this leg. Good, relax that leg and switch. Other leg goes out, lift and lower. Inhale, press the lower back down. Exhale, slowly lower, nice and controlled. Keep it going. One more, just like that. Good, relax that leg, bend the knee, pick up both knees, gentle little hug of the knees towards your chest, and rock a little bit, that always feels good. Okay, keep your knees up in the air like this. Bring your arms out to the sides. I'm gonna lay my arms in the flowers in the mud, okay. As you breathe in, rock to one side, bringing your thighs closer to the ground. My knees are still about a foot off the ground. And then as you exhale, use these side abdominal muscles to roll your knees back to center and then over to the other side. Inhale, exhale, pull back to center. 
Inhale, rocking to the side. Exhale, pulling back so that you're flat on your back again. Keep that going. Exhale, pull. One more. Inhale. Exhale, pull back to center. Relax. Relax everything. Hug your knees. Rock a little bit. One more. Okay, roll to the side just a little bit. Ooh, I'm muddy now. Okay, push up to sitting up. <laughs> I'm muddy and I've wrecked my hair. <sighs> Whatever. Come to sitting up, knees bent. Bring your hands down beside or even better behind your hips a little bit with your fingertips pointing towards the, the top of the mat. And we're going to lean back. So we're making a tripod, two hands and one bottom. Lean back into that. And then we start to lift the feet off the ground, bringing the, the shins to maybe as uh, parallel to the floor. And if that's too hard, don't worry about it. Maybe they are lower. That's OK. Maybe you need to just do one foot at a time. That's OK. All of it is more than you were doing before you started this video. Keep your breath steady. Hold through all the shaking. Exhale, let that down, relax. Brush the mud off. Let's do that one more time before we finish. Hands back behind you, fingers facing that way. Lean into it. We want to keep the back nice and straight because when the back starts to round, we're actually not working the tummy very well anymore. We're just straining the back. So keep the back straight. That's the most important thing that we're doing. And if that means you got to lower the legs, that's okay. Are you breathing? One more breath. Okay, let that down. Come back to sitting up. Nice job. See how quick and easy that is to do that? You can do it and pause the video so that you can keep doing that one exercise I did or do the whole thing as I did it. Doesn't matter. Uh, I hope that works for you and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.